somehow I wound up with one of each. So I actually have both variants of Abby and that, I don't know how that happened. That is so cool. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. I am really excited because I have the new Monster High Boo Original Cree Productions. Uh, earlier, uh, when was it? Was it this week? I think earlier this week. I I'm filming this on Saturday. It's uh, April 6th as I'm filming this anyway. But anyway, earlier, like on Tuesday or whatever, I got the box from Amazon that had them in it and I did a live stream where I took all of them out of the box and I did my first impressions there technically. So if you want to see that full live stream, where I talk about all the dolls and everything, I will put a link right here so you can go check that out. Today I'm going to be talking about Abby Abominable, and I did get two of Abby, so I did an unboxing on that live stream of her, but I still wanted to do a proper review uh, and like a detailed review that I that you can watch because I know not everybody likes to watch the live streams just because I do a lot of talking and it takes longer for me to get to the point. So, um, and I take long enough as it is in my normal, <laughs> normal videos. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's what this is. This is gonna be just the normal review for Abby. Now, since I have two of them, I do have one out of the box already. We're just going to pretend like it's a normal review. So I'm going to show you the inbox portion. And then afterwards, I'm going to unbox her. And then uh, we'll show you the out of the out of box doll. Um, so we're going to start off by looking at the packaging. So I love this original Monster High style packaging. Uh, I actually kind of like this better than the original. The original was a little bit more closed in. So these ones are designed slightly different. So they're a little wider. You can actually see the doll better. So for inbox collectors, I think that this is fantastic. Plus, since it is Monster High and they are supposed to be high school students, the box is designed like a trapper keeper or like a high school binder or something like that. I really like that. Like this is supposed to be the flap. In fact, I think the original concept idea for the packaging was that this is supposed to like like open, like, you know, Velcro open or whatever. So it actually opened like a high school binder as well, but then they just decided to kind of print it on. Um, but anyway, that is, that is really, really cool. So um, it says Abby Abominable right here. Um, it says daughter of the Yeti. So let me, there we go, zoom in. So each of the dolls have a little skelet, but it's like, designed slightly different. So for Abby, hers is a regular skelet, but instead of a bow, it has earmuffs, which I think is really cute because she's a, you know, the daughter of the Yeti and her whole theme is ice and everything. In fact, her little emblem up here is a snowflake. Um, here is the back of the box. So there is some information about Monster High. You have some beautiful character artwork. And then there is a little bit of it, um, like a bio or, you know, like a little bit about the character. And this is one thing that um, kind of helped Monster High to be so popular in the beginning was that they weren't just like generic dolls or characters. They had a little bit of a backstory. So um, I'm going to just, why am I zooming in? I don't need to zoom in. I'm just going to read it to you. Um, anyway, so on the back here, it says Monster High meet the frighteningly fashionable teenage children of the world's most famous monsters. And then it says it in like three other languages here. Um, I don't have, I never saw the original version of this, so I don't know if this is all the same or what's different. I have heard that there used to be more information on the back of the boxes um, and that they've shrunk it down and added the additional languages. So it's a little bit more accessible. Um, but now it just has their age, favorite food and their BFF. So in this case, for Abby, her age is 16. Her favorite food is the cheese, uh, the cheese of yuck and pancakes. I can't do an Abby accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible with accents anyway. Um, but anyway, so she likes the cheese of yuck and pancakes. And then her BFF is Laguna Blue and Frankie Stein. Those are her two uh, BFFs, which is awesome. And then, like I said, it has the same information in uh, three other languages as well. And then it's got a little cassette tape down here. Now, in the past, I remember it having something on it uh, interesting. So this one says, true friend, what? Oh, yes, this true friend is same in every language. 
cute. I like that. And then it says it again in a couple different languages. So I don't remember what that is. If it, th there was something special about like when uh, what was printed on the cassette tape on the back of these boxes for the crew productions. I don't remember what it was though. And maybe it was like um, lines from the show or something. Not sure. If you know, let me know in the comment section. I have to say, even though I wasn't collecting Monster High when the just the first ghouls came out, like their signature dolls came out, um, this artwork is still very nostalgic to me. I love this original artwork. This is so cute. I don't even know if this is like the actual original artwork or not, but it's in the style of the original artwork. And Abby is so beautiful. I have waited so long to have an Abby. Like before I knew that they were doing a Cree production of her, I was going to get original Abby in you know her signature outfit uh on ebay but she's expensive all the original monster high dolls are expensive now um but yeah i really wish that i could have gotten the original one i don't have the original one to compare to unfortunately so i won't be able to do like a side by side to show like what's different between the original versus the reproductions but um in my experience all of these original creep productions have been very faithful to the original version. So I have all the faith that this is a an accurate representation of Abby. So I'm really excited. Oh, there's another um, another one of these uh, little cassette tapes on the front. Um, this one says 14th December B-Day mix. So I'm not sure what happened on the 14th of December, if that, unless if that's her birthday. I don't know. There's a lot of Easter eggs in here. Um, but anyway, so it includes the doll, uh, doll stand and diary. It also comes with her pet, uh, which is now nameless. We don't have the pet's name anymore. <laughs> Talk about that here in just a second. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox the doll. I'm going to send you to a commercial break. Unless if you have YouTube premium, you're just going to see some static on the screen for a few seconds. And then when we come back, um, I will show you the doll out of the box and we'll take a closer look at all the details and everything she comes with. All right, I am back. And by that, I mean, I waited a few seconds and I'm continuing on to show you the doll that is out of the box. <laughs> anyway, okay, so here is Abby out of the box. I did restyle her hair. So I, like I said, I took her out of the box when I did the live stream technically. So I, I unboxed her a while ago. Um, I've had a, pl a chance to play with her and like really get to appreciate her, which I feel like I don't usually get to do when I do these doll reviews. Um, usually I'm opening them and it's a genuine first reaction when I record these videos. But for this Abby doll, I've had a chance to kind of play with and uh, you know, really look at the details and like play with her hair a little bit and stuff like that and had a chance to really like get to know her i don't know if that's the right <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say like I, I actually had a chance to spend some time and appreciate the doll um before i'm now talking to you about her so um i can confidently say that i i genuinely love this doll um and i'm really happy with what we got being a reproduction because a lot of times the re-releases or reproductions for certain dolls are um are not very good. They cut corners or cut costs. Hold on, I need to do this. I forgot to do this earlier. I use my computer monitors to have better lighting uh, on my face and what I'm showing you and stuff like that. But I forgot I had like all my editing software up. <laughs> Gotta bring the lights up. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyway, um, oh, I've had time to appreciate the doll. So um, it, it's kind of nice to be able to like actually show you and like give you my true thoughts on the doll and stuff like that. Uh, now, since I had her out of the box, I did kind of like change her hair up a little bit. Um, I took the little head fuzzy thing, whatever this is, the, the head warmer, her hat, um, off her head. It's a, it was attached in three spots with the little kajink, you know, like the little tea tags or whatever you want to call the kajinkers. Um, and I, I carefully took those off and then I pulled some of her hair forward and, um, kind of pushed it down and kind of slicked it down on either side of her face. I just think it frames her face a little bit better. I really like that. And, you know, kind of put this back on because in the box, it just looks like she's got the, the hat on. So I kind of like how this looks a little bit better. So I have played with her hair just a little bit. I didn't do anything else. I didn't wash it or boil wash it or straighten it or anything like that. This is how it came out of the box. Um, but yeah, here she is. Well, okay, hold on. Let me let me show you her accessories. Uh, I already am getting ahead of myself, and I know I always forget if I don't show you right away. So she comes with a brush, which is a classic Monster High brush in light blue, and she comes with a stand. It is a classic Monster High stand in the matching light blue color. Uh, she also has her little 
uh, diary or journal, her composition notebook, basically, uh, it has her name on it, and it says, this diary is not for you, for your reading. I thought it used to say more on the front, but then it says it again in, uh, French? Is that French? Yeah, I, I, that might be French. Anyway, um, but yeah, so it's, it's her journal. You know, it's got her journal entries. Um, I have still haven't read these. <laughs> I keep them all. I have all of the ones I've ever gotten from all my Monster High dolls, but um, I have not read them all. <laughs> anyway, um, so she also comes with her pet. Now, originally, this pet was called Shiver, if I remember correctly. And then her G3 version, uh, like the G3 incarnation of uh, Abby, the, they renamed the pet to Tundra. And I believe that that was because of a copyright issue. Um, I believe, hold on. Yeah, I just confirmed. So the original name, this pet's name is technically Shiver, but they don't have the pet's name on the little bubble in here, um, which for the other Cree Productions, the bubble has an extra little bubble with the pet's name on it. But this one is blank um, because Mattel lost the copyright or something wasn't able to renew it or something like that. Um, so unfortunately, they don't they aren't able to use uh, the name Shiver anymore because somebody in the live stream told me it was like a character in a Nintendo game or something like that. Uh, I forgot which one it was. Anyway. They're basically that that name is now taken for toys uh, and figures. So unfortunately, for G3, they changed the name to Tundra. And for this being a Boo original Cree production, uh, the original character was Shiver. But rather than call it Tundra, they just didn't have the name listed. But we all know that this is Shiver. And um, Shiver is absolutely adorable. I think this is probably one of my favorite Monster High pets. I don't know why. I just like the little mammoth. I just think it's so cute. So cute. Um, now I do have, or I had one more, I don't know where it is at the moment, but I had another one because I have the G2 collector version of Abby. Um, one of my friends got that for me as a gift and um, that was the only other version of Shiver that I have. Um, but anyway, okay, so let's take a look at the doll. So close up on her face, she is very, very pretty. I got really lucky. Both of the ones that I got look really good. Um, I think that the one in the box looks a little bit better and that's why I left her in the box. Uh, the one that I unboxed, um, the eyes are just a little bit closer together, but not wonky at all. Um, she looks super cute. She has two different kinds of earrings. So on this side is a pink snowflake. On this side is like a blue icicle or something like that. Um, she has a little matching necklace here. What is on the necklace, by the way? It's really hard to see. I think it's just little ice crystals. You know, it's like a little little choker that she's wearing. Um, she has, like I mentioned, this little hat or beanie or whatever, you know, ear warmers or something. I don't know. Uh, and then she has this beautiful like sweater dress style that's kind of like the over the shoulder or like off the shoulder faux fur trim to it. Uh, sweater dress style, super cute, asymmetrical, geometric pattern. You know, I love this. It's so pretty. She has these arm warmers and leg warmers in the same faux fur as across the top of the dress and the hat. Um, and this fur that they're using is very soft. It is very like, I like to pet it. <laughs> it's very soft, very nice feeling. Um, she also has like a little purse, but her purse is more like a little coin purse with a little keychain. And there's like a little tiny, super tiny, like skeleton key, like a skelet, white skeleton key on a keychain attached to her purse. Um, the purse has a little loop right here, but I think that that's just for the keychain because on the back, there's also a little clip and it's kind of like a little belt loop or something. And uh, mine has it clipped onto one of the threads or one of these strings that, uh, uh, goes across the front of her uh, dress. Speaking of which, the, these strings kind of come across and they come down and are rubber banded to her knee over on this side. And then if we lift up these leg warmers, you can actually see the boots. So these are really cool. These look like winter winter boots. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera because it is bright white. There's no painted details and things that are bright white, the details sometimes get lost with this camera. Um, so hopefully you can see it at least well enough that you can see the details, but they are like winter boots. These are really cute. I like these. And I think that they actually look really, really cute with these 
fur like faux fur leg warmers over them um i don't know it just gives that winter aesthetic i love winter themed dolls i don't have that many of them but i actually did like the epic winter dolls from ever after high for example even though i don't have any of them i do really like the winter themed dolls from rainbow high uh there's i don't want to get all of them but there is a couple i want like i really want poppy and i actually kind of want violet from that collection i really like the uh the the winter theme to them i just i don't know i really like it uh, even though i only display winter themed dolls during the actual winter but uh abby is going to be a year-round doll with my monster high collection oh my gosh i'm so happy to have her um like i said I, earlier i was planning on getting her signature outfit because i would like to have one monster one doll of every monster high character that has come out um and preferably i want it to be their signature outfit depending on the doll some of them there's other lines that they were in and that i would be fine with with if i don't have their signature outfit um but I'm, i love that they're doing the boo original Cree productions because this gave me a chance to get some of these characters that i was not able to collect by the time i started collecting dolls because um they were no longer on the shelves they had already been out on the shelves and gone by the time i started collecting and i didn't think to go online and order them at the time because they might have been available but um i was more focused on the dolls i could get in store so um i missed out on a lot of these so i'm so thankful that mattel is bringing these out also these have been way more available like kind of off and on we, we all we know that the scalpers are out there they're buying them all up so they're selling out really fast but they are um you know releasing them i think in waves so they keep popping in like they, they sell out and then they come back in stock every so often so if you don't if you see them only on amazon and ebay listings that are like really expensive don't buy them they're from there those are scalpers wait until they come up they should be 25 dollars, 24.99 um i got mine on amazon in fact i'm gonna leave a link it will be an affiliate link so if you use that link i get a little bit of a commission but um basically i will put a link to to the listing for abby on amazon in the description of this video so if you just check that from time to time as long as you can get it at that 25 dollar price point that's a good time to buy it like i said don't buy these dolls when they're showing up at like 77 dollars or whatever i know it's tempting and it's frustrating and stuff like that but like i said they just they keep popping in and out of stock so just be patient don't give in to the to the uh scalpers because you'll buy it at a higher price and then like a couple days later it'll pop in and you'll wish you got it at the normal price uh and stuff like that and we don't want to encourage the behavior of scalpers so you know don't don't buy from them <laughs> oh looking at the hair i okay i totally forgot about this during the live stream somebody pointed out to me that abby has a variant there's two different variants that you can get for abby and it has to do with the tinsel in her hair so um if you look at this doll uh, the one that i have unboxed you can see she has this kind of like sparkly looking tinsel apparently this is called beaded tinsel or i don't know if it's technically called beaded tinsel or if people are just calling it beaded tinsel but it's the one that kind of looks textured and if you look at the one that i have in the box the tinsel is different it looks flat like it looks like just simple strands of tinsel like kind of like the decoration for uh christmas decorations or christmas tree tinsel um i don't know if this is any help but if i put them side by side you can kind of see that the one i have out of box is more textured and the one that i have in box is more flat so yeah um somebody on the the live stream i'm so sorry i forgot who it was that mentioned it but somebody pointed out that there was the, the variant with the tinsel and I looked and I found out that somehow I wound up with one of each so I actually have both variants of Abby and that, I don't know how that happened that is so cool it was just like a happy accident because I placed the order at the same time I when I ordered them initially for Abby I knew that she was my favorite out of this wave of the Cree productions so I ordered two of her and I, you know I just added two to my shopping cart so it was just one transaction and you know whoever fulfilled my order grabbed 
one of each. <laughs> so that is really cool. Usually it's like a batch thing. So like all the ones you get from one store will all be one variant. And if you want to get an, the other variant, you'll have to get them from another location or something because they might have gotten a batch of them from the other manufacturer or whatever that you, you know, I don't know. I don't know how these things work, but uh, I was just really excited. I am a little bummed out because if I knew that before I opened the dolls, I would have left this one in the box and opened the one with the flat tinsel because I like this one better and I'd want to keep it nice. I mean, I'm going to keep this nice anyway, but I would have preferred to have this Abby in the box because of this type of tinsel. Um, it gets messed up a lot quicker and easier in my experience. So I would have preferred to have it in the um, in the box. Plus, I just think it looks nicer. I actually do kind of prefer it uh, the way that it looks. So I would like this to be in the box. Um, whereas this one, the flat one, is a little easier to, to take care of. So I wouldn't have minded taking this out of the box. But it is, you know what, say la vie. <laughs> I can't change the past. So um, it's not that big of a deal. I just, I, I wish that I would have left this one in the box. I honestly don't know which one is more common or which one is more rare. So I don't know if it even matters at this point. Um, I mean, it's too, like I said, too late now. Can't change the best. <laughs> this one's already out of the box. Anyway, I just realized I am very hyper. I've had two coffees and an en energy drink today because I went out to the flea market earlier and I filmed other videos. So I'm just like really hyper. I should probably tone it down or not because then, you know, the video is a little bit more entertaining maybe. Y'all probably sitting there laughing at me right now. Like, chat is going crazy. I don't know. Anyway, so, <laughs> Abby Abominable, the daughter of the Yeti. I am so happy to finally have her. And I appreciate her so much. Like, now that I have her, like, especially because I was wanting to get her for so long. Because I really like her signature outfit. Um, the, you know, I got the G3 Abby. And, like, I'll be completely honest. Her outfit is, is not my style. Like, I'm not super excited about her outfit. I can't wait for a better G3 Abby to come out or I just want to like get a new outfit for her like something from Etsy or something like that I don't know I'm just personally not a fan of her outfit or her shoes for G3 but for G1 like as much as I like the G3 style doll like the doll is fine it's her outfit um I'm obsessed with this outfit I love the sweater dress with all the faux fur everywhere I just I love it I love her style Oh, I'm so happy to finally have Abby. <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm going to get going because now I'm at that point where I have said everything I have to say. And if I keep talking, I'm just going to repeat myself. So I should probably stop. But thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate you sticking around until the end of the video. Um, as always, let me know your thoughts. Let me know of how... <sighs> I'm going to leave that in. I that was that was kind of funny. Anyway, let me know your thoughts of this doll down in the comment section down below. Also, were you able to get your hands on Abby? Um, like, were you able to get your Cree Productions already? If not, like I said, don't forget that I have that link in the description to the Amazon listing. So if you want to buy her, uh, you can use my uh, associates link or whatever. Affiliate link. That's what it's called. Anyway, OK, I'm going to go. <laughs> Uh, I probably should, I need to lay down and take a take a quick uh, power nap before I do any more filming today. But thanks so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Bye. <laughs> if you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.